AHM64 has ambient noise compensation on every zone. Ambient noise compensation takes a measurement of the ambient noise as a reference level from a microphone connected to an input channel and uses that reference to adjust the output level of a zone as the ambient noise goes up or down. A great example of this would be in a restaurant, where a measurement of the ambient noise can be taken at the beginning of the evening and as the ambient noise goes up, the background music goes up and as the restaurant calms down towards the end of the night, the music automatically goes down without the staff having to manage it. To set up ANC, go to the Channels page and the Zones tab and select ANC. On the left we can select an input channel where the reference microphone is connected to measure the ambient level. The meter point for that microphone can be post trim, post EQ or post delay. The gain differential sets the difference between the ambient level as displayed on the ambient level meter in dBU and the controlled gain element fader gain level in dB as shown on the fader scales. The gain differential can be set between minus 18 dB and plus 40 dB. For example, an ambient level of minus 30 dBU with a gain differential of 10 dB will set the controlled gain element fader level to minus 20 dB on the fader scale. As the ambient level changes, the control fader level will ride 10 dB higher than the ambient level. Gap metering selects the point from which the ANC ambient sampling and gain control program is triggered. Set the threshold to a level to trigger sampling when there is only ambient level so that your program material coming from the zone doesn't trigger the sampling itself. The time value determines the amount of time the reference signal needs to drop below the set threshold before the ambient level sampling begins. Then in the lower part of the screen you can set a taper to prevent the ANC from compensating the signal above or below fixed gains to prevent the program material from being too loud or too quiet. You can also set the speed at which the compensation acts or how fast the compensation fader moves 